Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We are back in XL Survival. How are we doing guys? Hope you guys are well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head over to, um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and do the bone face layer again. Uh, from the previous video, if you guys had checked that out, please check it out. It had, was a really good um, video that I had set up for you guys, so do watch it. But I wanted to go back because I want to get the experience. Right now, I'm at level 12, I believe, and I want to get to level 15. Reason for that is I want to get the better um, satchel. So I want to upgrade my satchel back to the next tier level so I can get those a um, little bit extra uh, inventory slots and at least this way. Um, I'll have that ability to, you know, take more resources. I don't have to run, you know, to and from all that sort of stuff. Um, what's going on here? Um, oh, here we go. That took um, insanely longer than what it normally did. But here we are in the bone face lair. Now, what I didn't do this time, and I want to sort of test my uh, exile out as well, is I wanted to check out if I could take him take this bone face out without any armor because I know I went in there with um, pretty good armor beforehand so this time around I want to check out if I can do this without any armor and at least this way it shows you guys that it can be done as well at the same time so we're going to go ahead and give this a bit of a shakedown and let's see if we can maybe we can't even do any sort of sneak, sneak attacks anyway so let's go ahead and whoop he's doing his power attack let's see if I can get out of the way Okay, let's just keep going and hit him uh, a number of times and hopefully we should be able to oop, take him out. Now, I'm not going to heal up just yet because I've got a little bit to go before that happens. But as you can see, he actually doesn't really use or attack that often for you to sort of be, you know, any sort of worry. As long as you've got a decent weapon on you, I probably wouldn't recommend using... Um, very basic weapons like um, you know like wooden weapons that you find or that you can craft from the standard menu table you sort of really need the forge um, in this situation here I might even do other videos where I might be able to see if there's any other whoop, oh no 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 oh no 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 let's just get out that was so close <laughs> let me see if I can grab my second there we go oh no come back here no come back come back come back whoop Okay, out of the way. So you can sort of do even decent amount of attacks with the um. Better heal up again. Oh no no no! Get, get out of his way! Get out of his path! There we go. As you can see, um, dual axes all the way. You really can't beat. You can't really can't beat that. Um, that's actually the best quality that I've seen. Um. So 18 damage, these guys have only got 10 damage, which is fine. But yeah, there you are. So you can definitely take this guy out with minimal fuss. And I only healed up twice um, with these healing uh, elixirs. So not too bad, not too bad at all. And the healing elixirs, you can come across them quite easily. So if you ever wanted to take a few or hold on to a few before coming into the zone, then yeah, that will be the easiest recommendation and at least that way you guys won't have a problem to take um, the bone face out but now that we've done that we can sort of move on and sort of you know muck about jump into another zone and yeah see what type of resources that we can get our hands on so we've got the crossroads here very very easy so we'll go ahead and clear the zone like I said what I'm looking at is I really want to loot up and I just want to um, have the level 15 um, as soon as possible. I'm not too sure, sure why this loading additional resources is happening. So um, hopefully the the devs will take a look at that as well. I'm not too sure if that's, you know, like a minor glitch or anything like that. Just on that as well, uh, recently I actually reached out to the uh, community manager, I believe, on their Facebook development page. And I got them, I had, had a quick chat with them and mentioned to them that I've done a few videos of the game. And, and ask them if they could um, uh, upload or share my page um, on my Facebook page and for you guys to check out some of the videos as well. So I wanted, um, I know there's a lot of people that have um, gone onto the actual page and checked it out, uh, the game that is, and you know, there's a lot more activity than the, what, what there is at the moment on um, 
YouTube. So I wanted to, you know, try and get a lot more people engaged in the game as well because I do enjoy the game. The graphics are amazing, and and look, um, I think this game has a lot of potential to, you know, become a very good game. So I'm hoping that, you know, there will be a lot more development, you know, moving forward. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to get rid of this, take that over there. So I want to preserve uh, my axe. But yeah, so it, it's not a sponsored thing or anything like that. So um, I thought I'd just be clear with that. Nothing to do with any sort of sponsorship or anything like that. I'm purely me reaching out to the developers and say, hey, look, I really like your game and I want other people to see that as well. And can you help me out? Can you get me some, um, you know, a bit of screen time there? And that's pretty much what happened. That's essentially all it was, it was sort of, um, you know, down to that I was able to, you know, get that relationship going as well. So uh, really happy that, that, that that's actually happened. So, um, yeah, like I said, guys, definitely check out the, um, the Facebook page. And if you guys can do that, share some love there, share it around with, you, with your friends and um, on your personal socials and things like that. That'd be really much appreciated. Now that I've got the platform on a major social account, um, you guys can definitely, um, hopefully if you can, uh, help me out. So uh, shameless plug aside, we're gonna get back into it. So what I've done here is I've sort of pretty much cleared out everything that I can in the zone here. Like I said, not too much of an issue. Um, just trying to sort of level up here at this stage. But also, as a side note, I'm really trying to find some uh, bark resource as well because I need that for uh, tanning purposes as well at the same time. So uh, a couple of things like that is uh, pretty much where I'm, where I'm at with things at the moment. So if I can get what I'm after as well as leveling up, you know, I can essentially um, just get things going and I can get to the next tier of um, things that I want to do. But so far from what I can see at the moment with the game at, at this stage, there's really not too much that's happening right now at the moment. So sort of got to take that as it is. Um, as you can see, you do have these things here that you do need high levels to get to. I doubt that they're in game yet for us to access or become accessible to us. So right now you probably just have to sort of just level up as much as you can and at least this way, once they do become available, um, you are at the most prepared. So hopefully that will happen soon. I'm not too sure if there's any sort of development time map, um, time, uh, timeline or anything like that. I really hope that there is. And if there is, at least that way, I can um, hopefully let you guys know. So I am gonna reach out to um, their community manager and see if there's anything happening. Um, oh, not this guy again. He is really, really annoying. Oh, what's happened here? Alrighty, so I'm back here again, guys. Sorry about that. Um, not too sure what exactly happened with all that, but I'm going to run out of the zone real quick and let's just run back in because where I was, I was on the other side of the map and I wanted to get back to where I was, um, you know, as soon as I could. But unfortunately, yeah, I had a bit of a Congo line happening and I had a few people um on my on my tail there so that's fine at least this way now i can sort of get back to where i was and i might just there we go have the ability now to loot up Ooh, tin bar i'm glad i came back for that Look, these guys are tricky i really don't like these guys and you sort of got to get them in a little corner and as soon as you do that as soon as you sort of hold them in like that, you sort of got that small time and window to sort of hit him. And if, he, if you're lucky enough, like I said, oh, there you go. And at least now he is gone. So, yeah, so that's pretty much it with that fella there. He's one of the most annoying um, enemies, I feel. These guys aren't too bad, at least you can sort of get them um, out of the way quite convincingly and easy. And I am out of inventory space. And this is what I mean, I need to get that next level satchel. And just so I can get that little bit extra of inventory space, so I can have that little bit more on the management side. But right now, yeah, it's 
it's a bit of a pain. So this is where the sort of the grind will sort of come into play. And your basic resources that you find, you will have um, in your base. And your base will all um, will auto regenerate. Now, at the time of this recording, it, it is still auto regenerating. So I don't know if that's a thing by design from the developers themselves. Um, I don't know if it's a bug or a glitch or anything like that, but for now, this is what we've got to play with and that's what I'm playing with at the moment. So right now, um, I'm just sort of trying to take these guys on, but I don't know why he ran away from me. So let's go over here and, oh, okay, this is not the dead end, I think. It is. Um, oh no, I'm going back the way I came, so that's, that's fine. Here you are. Hey. Oh, not these guys again. Give me off. Come back. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No. And when he gets into combat mode, he sort of just stops there and doesn't really do anything. And I sort of, like I said, I sort of got to get this guy in a corner and hit him quick enough and hopefully I'm lucky enough to um, hit the fella. There you go, like that. So if I can do that again, one more time, as soon as he stops. Oh, there we go. Wait it out. And... That's not what I want, so I'm just going to go ahead and leave that alone. Anyway, let's just take out this fella here, and take out his little friend, the ball. And I've just realised that I've got, uh, I don't have any sort of good weaponry, because that little weapon just died pretty much straight away, so uh, not good on that front. But let's see if I can sort of craft anything from here that's going to be usable. Um, these guys here, uh, these only do 6 damage, so they're really, really not ideal at the moment. I might even have to just head back and um, regroup, I guess. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this guy is tracking me, and as soon as I get out of combat, perfect, I can sort of get out of the zone. It's still on a timer, so it's not like... The zone's going to reset as soon as I leave the zone anyway, so I've still got a bit of time for that to happen. And I can sort of go back, and then I can sort of tackle um, this zone over here later on, which is a weaker zone. So, where I'm going to go here, I'm going to go over here. And I may as well just equip that. There we go, so that's all nicely equipped. Whilst I'm here, I may as well just start dumping things into these um, chests here. I have noticed as well, you can only create so many chests um, whilst you're here. You know what, I may as well just take these guys. I know they're not going to be the best, but I've got something here, so why not? Um, yeah, so there's only so many times that you can create um, chests before they become... Uh, guest capacity but there's really no indication for you to actually know that until you make that attempt and then all of a sudden once you've done that that's pretty much it you know you don't really get enough um, any further opportunity than that so um, right now I'm just sort of doing some quick management and just sort of trying to work out what I want to do with everything here and let's see what I've got here Let's see, let's see, let's put that there. And I think that's pretty much everything I want to do. I'm trying to inventory manage the best I can. I'll keep the heels with me. The seed can go over. Oop, if he can get unstuck, there we go. And I should be able to use this. Yes, perfect. And we'll just craft up that. And, oop. I want to get back into my inventory and use that. Okay, I think I'm good. So yeah, I do want to get some um, animal hide as well. So that's probably, that's another thing I want to grab. So there's three main focuses here. I want to level up. I want to get more bark for the tanner and also leather, sorry, um, hide so I can make leather, but also um, sort of part two to that, I do need uh, more hide so I can actually make more clothing. So I guess that's probably the other thing I want to sort of achieve uh, whilst I'm... Ooh, 
Well, not that I wanted to die, but there you go. So this is what happens where you don't have the right weapons. Okay, so this is where you need to have suitable weapons. And if you need to make a stockpile, you make a stockpile. Um, what do I want to do? I want to find, I know I had another, there I do, there we go. So I'm going to take that with me. And I think I might be able to use this as a dual weapon. So I want to see how that goes. And I want to go back to where I was over here. Hopefully I'm back in the same area or the same section. If I am, great. Um, I'll be able to retrieve my body and I'll get my loot back. That's where I'm at. Okay. Uh, where am I here? Um, I don't think I'm where I'm supposed to be. But if I just do a runner, he's a level 19. Ooh. Oh, the game level just went up. Hello. When, when did that happen? When did that happen? Wow, okay. Is that something I'm not aware of? I'm just aware of it now. Oh, wow, okay. Okay, so there's my dead body over there. And I've got to work, I've got to work out my way to get over there. Okay, so I'm going to have to go ahead and try something out and ooh. I, hadn't, oh, I didn't realize that they, that they had a, a different game level. So I've pretty much leveled up enough for me to get this game level happening. Is this guy here? Are you... Just finesse you, young warrior. Well, no, you're, you're pretty much the same, dude. So, let's just take all. Run. And is he going to chase me? Yeah, he's going to chase me. So, yeah. So, I managed to get everything. So, that's fine. I'm just going to quickly dart down here real quick. And can I... Use that as jewel, yes I can. And let's just get that happening and I just want to try this guy one more time. Nice. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Alright, so I don't know if I want to finish up the zone yet. I think I might have to do some investigation on my part here. But uh, I think I'll leave it here. I think you guys get the idea anyway, so I'm not gonna or you guys with anything like that but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed this one again um let me know in the comments what you thought about it uh hit the like button of course um i really want to get this game um out there as well as much as i can and hopefully you guys check their facebook page so you'll see some of my early videos if you haven't seen them already at least you can watch them on facebook there through socials but also um, a lot more convenient and easy for you guys to share the content around as well to your friends and family Anyway, I'm going to get out of here, so uh, thanks for stopping by, and I will see you in another video.